Hi everyone. So I just got my EcoFlow Delta about a few days ago and I have been using it and so far I think I like it. I really love this thing. It's perfect. It pretty much runs everything I need. I, I ran a TV for probably four or five hours yesterday just watching movies and stuff like that and it's perfectly fine. It still has some battery left over too. So I'm going to do a quick review. Um, one of the reviewers, let's see if it can power a microwave because um, when the power goes out here in Texas, it'll be nice to have a microwave working. So I wanted to see if I can power this with a microwave. So first, let's see what comes in with this um, EcoFlow Delta. Um, our plane is passing by, so it's a little bit loud out here. Um, so we have some cord here that it came with. I like the fact that it came with the a case to store it or keep it um, from getting dusty and dirty. So let's read a little bit of what this has. Uh, so this has been out for a while. It's, it's been out for about a year now and I just got mine a few days ago. So I think there's a lot of review out there for it. We're not going to do a capacity test or anything because I know it gets around a thousand kilowatt hour. This thing is rated at 1260 kilowatt hour. But from the review that I saw and I read, it's mostly getting around a little over a thousand kilowatt hours. So that sounds about right. So it's got 1800 watt um, AC power. So it's got three plug, I'll show you here in a little bit. And it's got 3300 watt surge, so it can surge up to 3300 watt. It's got a 400 watt um, PV max input, 400 watt max. Um, it's also got fast charging, so I charge it up. It came in at 30%. And when I plug into my AC charger, my AC outlet, it pretty much wrapped up to about a thousand watt when it charged. So that was pretty good. That was quick. It put in a lot of power charging. Um, and the grip design on it is pretty good too. So let me show you what's um, in the um, box that came with. So pretty much like almost every um, EcoFlow. All right, let's see what came, what came with. Um, I already unboxed it a few days ago, so I'm not going to unbox it. I'm just going to show you what it came with. So it comes with this MC4 connector going to an XC60. And you got the uh, car charger that goes in your cigarette lighter and XC60. And then you got the uh, power cord, which goes into your AC. Don't, the main thing I love about this, it doesn't require a power brick carry around you just carry this cable and just plug it in you don't have to carry a power brick a separate box to charge it so it's got a built-in charger inside the um, delta so which is perfect and just plug the cable in and it's of course you got this case here too and so far pretty good quality case it's nice and um, thin a little bit leather I think all right so let's look at the uh, plug here sorry it's a little bit dark so you got um, six AC plug, and it looks like three of them is ground. So technically it's, it's just an empty slot for it. It's not really grounded, grounded. It's just a hole so you, you can plug a three prong into it. And then it's got the um, 12 volt AC um, cigarette. And it's got one. And then look at the side here. And then you have your XT60 uh, connector. So 65 volt, 10 amp max. Um, so technically you go up to 65 volt, 10 amp, so it's about 650 watt, but this thing max out that 400. So you only get 400 max input on that. And then you got the AC plug, then you got the um, circuit um, button that trips and just push it in when it trips. And let's look at the front. And here's the front. Uh, so it's got two USB-A, USB, -A, USB um, two fast charging USB-A, and then you have two USB-C um, charging. I don't know how many watt that is. I'll have to look it up. I'm thinking it's about 60 watt, um, but let me look it up and confirm. And then you got the display, which is pretty cool display. I, I like the display. EcoFlow probably has the best display in my opinion. All right, let's turn it on here and see. So there's a power button. Press that, it comes on. 
So it's about 61, I mean 51 percent right now. Um, I ran the TV last night for a while, so that's how much has left. So, which is pretty good. And I like the fact that it's got this flat top. So if I ever go camping, which I do a lot, um, I just pretty much can set it on the ground and put my little drinks on here. So it's a good place to add, like, um, put it, your drinks or something on top of it and just kind of chill. And it would be nice if this was actually a wireless charger, like the uh, Blue Eddy. But maybe that's their future. Maybe Delta will pro I mean, the EcoFlow will probably add one later, maybe. We'll see. All right. Let's, um, let's do a microwave test. So I want to see if we can run a microwave. Okay, so I got my microwave out here. So this microwave is a little cheap microwave. I, I bought this when my microwave, my home microwave went out and I was using this as a spare. So I could use this as a backup. Um, this was rated at 900 watt. 900 watts should be capable of it because it's, because um, this is rated at 1800. So we'll see how it does. So what we do is we'll plug it in here into this outlet back here. So let's make sure this is on. All right, so that's on. So I already plugged it in. Let's go ahead and turn on the AC. And looks like we have power on a microwave. Um, so let's go ahead and hit the start button. Oh, look at that, it actually runs. Oh wow, it's pulling close to 1400 watt. And you hear the fan running on the AC when the AC kicks in. Wow, 900 watt, yeah right. 1400 watt, really. But the good news is the Delta is running it just fine. And with this rate, it's actually gonna drain the battery in 22 minutes with 50% charge. Wow, that's pretty impressive. I, I like that, definitely works for me. That's why this is probably my favorite power station so far. Um, it's got a great display. Um, it's got a good design to it, perfect really. It weighs about 21 pound, um, I mean, I'm sorry, 30 pound, about 30 pound. And it's actually not, not bad, 30 pounds is not bad. I mean, I can carry that around um, and fit it in my Forerunner. So, perfect. So let's try to charge it with my solar, just to see what it gets. I have a 300 watt solar um, Dokio that, um, that I got, and I, that's pretty much my go-to solar so far. So let's get that and try to plug it in, see what it charges at. Okay, I got my Dokio, 300 watt. Let's try it out. It got a little dirty because I've been using it for camping and fishing so it's got a little bit dirty which is good you know it's getting used you know I forgot I need to grab the cables first the good thing about these solar panel or this one this model particularly um, it comes with the XC60 cable already so I don't have to use the MT4 Let's pull that down a little bit. So the sun is directly on top right now. It's about one o'clock, so. Okay, I got my solar panel opened up. And let's plug the cable in. XC60. Goes into the XC60. All right. It's kind of fluctuating. Okay, about 150 right now. This solar panel is not as efficient like I thought it would be. It's rated at 300 watt, but I have not seen it past 200 yet. I won't, the max I've seen now is like 180, 190. 
watt. Right now it's getting about 150. Well, at least I know it works, so I can always plug this when I'm out camping and I'll get around 150 water or so to charge it, which is pretty good. All right, so that was solar charging. Um, I was getting about 150 or so. Maybe I'll get better um, waters maybe during throughout the day, but that's good enough for me going camping. Uh, 150 watt, I can uh, leave it charging and I can run my fridge. My fridge only takes up like 20, 30 watt when it's running, so it's not too bad. But let's try something else. So I bought a battery from AliExpress. It's a battery in a case, 150 amp hour, 12 volt. Um, let me show it to you real quick. So this is the battery I bought from AliExpress a while back. 150 amp hour. It's got a BMS already inside, built in already. Um, and let's say I don't have any sun or solar. Um, but I wanted to charge the Delta out in the field, in the woods, camping, whatever. Um, I can take this battery with me and I can plug it in and get it charged and having it, having this charging the uh, Delta or having the Delta charge off of this. So what I did was I put in a um, secret plug, female plug, and I pretty much just went into um, negative and positive here and then the delta comes with the cigarette plug so technically you can charge it like that and then plug in the cigarette lighter in here so the, so, so this battery case becomes the um, power source There you go. It probably won't get a whole lot because um, this is a 12 volt and 12 volt, 10 amp, you'd probably get 120 watt or so. Um, to get more, I probably need to get those um, 12 volt converter that bumps up to a 24 or 48. Probably get a 48, a 12 volt to a 48 converter. So you will wire that converter into this and then from the converter, it goes into the delta. And that pretty much turns into a 48 volt at 10 amps. So you'll be maxing out 400 watt easily with a 48 volt converter. So I might just do that. I might just get a converter and carry that with this battery pack. Just keep it in the car, just in case on those cloudy day or you know, with no sun enough to charge it or overnight or something, I can just charge it from here. This battery is a uh, lithium iron phosphate and it's a uh, good chemistry. So, so that's pretty much it. Um, that pretty much concludes my testing, the microwave work and I, it's, it's great. So I have a inverter, let me go get it real quick. So here's the inverter that I was using before I even got a power station. Um, this is a thousand watt and two thousand watt surge, and I was using this and hooking up to the battery pack using this XT90 connector plug into it. Um, but it's just bulky. I have to carry, you know, just bulky to carry around and two separate um, parts I had to haul around. Um, and when I got the um, Delta, I even got a Delta. I mean, um, EcoFlow. Um, River Max, which is great, but it's only 600 watt and sometimes I might need more than 600 watt, but I was using this a thousand watt But the problem is it says 2000 surge, but when I ran a microwave It didn't even start the microwave. It just shuts off right away. It's, it surged it, it kicks up to 1300 from what you've seen earlier, but yeah, I don't think this really surged over a thousand watts, so I was carrying this thing bulky around and I even ran a it was kind of like electric saw to cut some woods in the in the, um, in the camping site. It wouldn't even run it. I mean, it ran for about maybe 20 seconds and then when it was pulling a lot of power, it just shuts off. So 
I think this will probably do better than this right here. But at least I can use the battery to charge it up, just like I'm doing right now, off the 12 volt. Um, just get a 12 volt converter to a 48 volt, and I should be getting more wattage. Um, probably 400 watt. Right now it's getting 122, which is 12 volt. So, yep. So that's pretty much it. Um, I probably won't use this anymore. Alrighty.